I'm Corel Painter Master Aaron Rutten, and in this video I'll talk about what size and resolution to use for your canvas. When choosing a canvas size, there are two components which work in sync with each other to determine how an image will appear in print and on a computer screen. These are the canvas dimensions and the image resolution. The canvas dimensions define the height and width of an image. A canvas can be measured in either inches or pixels. Images displayed on a computer screen are more commonly measured in pixels. For printed artwork, the canvas is measured in inches and other units of measurement. The second factor, image resolution, sometimes referred to as PPI or DPI, determines the amount of visual detail contained within an image. Resolution can be measured in DPI, which stands for dots per inch, or PPI, which stands for pixels per inch. In printing terms, a higher DPI means the printer will place more dots of ink for every inch of artwork. A high-resolution source image creates a more clear and detailed print than a low-resolution image. If your artwork contains a lot of small details or fine lines, a higher DPI will yield much better print results. A low-resolution print tends to make fine lines look blocky and blurs fine details when viewed at close proximity. In addition to considering how an image will look printed, you must also consider how it will appear on a computer screen. Digital images are made of pixels. Pixels are tiny squares of color that make up an image. Pixels exist in the form of data that makes up the images, and in physical form as the pixels that make up your computer screen. If you look closely at your computer screen, you may be able to see tiny squares. You'll see similar squares if you zoom in very closely to an image. The resolution of an image often differs from the resolution of your screen. Many displays are limited to 72 pixels per inch of resolution. Viewing a 300 dpi image on your monitor will give the illusion that the image is about four times larger than it should be because it has more resolution than the monitor can display without zooming. It's becoming more common to see displays which have a higher pixel density, which are able to display resolutions above 72 dpi. So what should you choose for your image dimensions and resolution? Well, there's no universal solution. It all depends on your intent for the artwork. First, you'll want to consider whether or not you'll print the piece, and if so, what is the largest size it will be printed? Will there be multiple sizes, or just one? Making a bigger canvas is often better because you can always scale copies of your artwork down to a smaller size without hurting the image quality. Unfortunately, resizing is a one-way street, as enlarging can negatively impact image quality. If you're printing from a third-party service, they may have guidelines that you should follow for sizing your artwork before submitting it. If you're not printing your work, you'll need to consider the size and resolution for displaying your work on a computer. Since most computers only support a resolution of 72 dpi, you'll want to avoid posting anything other than that to the web because it will be too large to fit on the screen and it'll take a long time to download. Large and high resolution images should be saved as a duplicate copy that is 72 dpi and sized appropriately for the web. It's best to choose image dimensions that will fit on most device screens. A lot of people use tablets and smartphones to look at art. These devices have smaller screens, so keep that in mind when deciding on how large to publish your work. Phone screens are around 320 by 480 pixels, and HDTVs are 1920 by 1080 pixels, so try to stay within that range when displaying on the web. I anticipate that this may change in the near future as high resolution displays become more common. Some artists may want to take advantage of that by making higher resolution art for the web. Most websites have strict guidelines as to what size uploaded images should be in pixel dimensions, so it's best to follow their specifications. For my digital paintings, I often start with a setting of 24 by 18 inches for my canvas dimensions. This is a standard frame size and gives me an adequate amount of detail for most paintings. 24 by 18 can be easily reduced to fit many other standard frame sizes with minimal cropping. Other common canvas sizes are 4 by 6, 8x10, 11x14, and 16x20. Extra large pieces are expensive to print and don't display full size on most computer screens, so I don't go much above 24x18 for practical reasons. For the resolution setting, I usually choose 150 dpi for large pieces and 300 for smaller ones. For most artwork and documents, printing at 300 dpi is preferred, but the difference in print quality is not very noticeable on large pieces because you'll be looking at the prints from farther away. Did you know that roadside billboards are printed at a very low resolution? This is because the farther you are from an image, the less resolution is required to see a clear image. The downside to working at 300 dpi or higher is that it creates a much larger file which can make Painter run really slow even on a fast computer. 
High resolution images also take up excess space on your hard drive. So to recap, choose image dimensions that match your printing intent. Larger canvases are safer because you can always reduce, but you cannot enlarge without losing image quality. Choose a resolution of 72 for the web, 150 for large prints, and 300 for smaller prints. You can use other resolutions as well. Some people like 240 dpi, and some go as high as 600 dpi and even higher. Again, increasing image resolution increases image file size, so making an image too large starts to negatively impact efficiency, printing, and exhibition. Well, I hope that took the guesswork out of choosing a canvas size and resolution. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button to get free updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.